Hello, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Dollar Tree Gold. So today we are going to be talking about a fragrance that I did do like a super quick like group review on with other Dollar Tree fragrances. But I've been using this for a while. That video I did probably a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. But I'm talking about the EAD um, Her Royal Highness. It's their version of Princess by Vera Wang. So if you'd like to hear a very thorough, in-depth review of this Dollar Tree fragrance, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, you can bookmark the page. But let's get started. Okay, so uh, I tried seeing when I made that video and I was looking in a different place and I couldn't find the exact date, but it's been a long time since I've done that video. And I did like a whole roundup of four, five, six different Dollar Tree fragrances and um, EAD's HRH Her Royal Highness was one of them. And um, yeah, talked about it a very, very shortly, didn't use it that long, but I've been using it off and on for a long time now. So I do have some thoughts about this. So I have to say, um, Dollar Tree now, Dollar Twenty Five, whatever. So I am going to take into account that I did purchase this when it was still a dollar, but whether or not I think it's worth a dollar twenty-five now. But anyway, so you do get two point five fluid ounces. Um, outside packaging is super, super pretty in my opinion. Very, very pretty. This is made in India, distributed by um, Arian Perfume Beauty Inc. in San Antonio. And anyway, so inside packaging, a little bit more plain. So it is a glass bottle and you got some gold and everything like that, but it's what's on the inside that matters, right? So I do have to say, I really, really, really like this fragrance. I've never smelled Princess by Vera Wang. But I have to say, I was afraid that, you know, when I first tried it, like, all that time ago, I was afraid it was going to be too sweet. It is not too sweet at all. There's a little bit of sweetness, but it's definitely got some depth to it. It definitely has a little tiny bit of musk. I would call it a baby musk. Not, like, baby powder scented, but, like, it's barely a musk, if that makes sense. It is a very, very gentle, soft muskiness to it. I think it just really makes this a very... Um, even scent. It's not too floral, not too fruity, not too musky. It's just that very middle of the road fragrance. It smells really, really good though. And even though this is a more affordable perfume from Dollar Tree, it does have pretty good lasting power. I would say five and a half going on six hours. At the six hour mark, it's pretty faded. Um, but I do think it is small enough you could ship you know, put it into your handbag, your gym bag, whatever. Um, one of the more important things is I kind of, well, you know me, I love a good, heavy, strong fragrance, depending on what I'm going to be doing. If I'm going to be leaving the house, great, love it, all that jazz. But I have a husband that is sensitive to fragrance. I also have a cat that is sensitive to fragrance. And so a lot of times I'm like, like when I get out of the bathtub, a lot of times I'm barely putting any on just because I don't want to irritate them, right? Because I love them. I don't want them to be irritated just because I like to put on a gallon of perfume. But this is, it smells good, but it's not extremely heavy. It's not um, abrasive. It's not an aggressive scent, if that makes sense. So even though I just sprayed it, like before I started filming, I sprayed it on my body after putting on body oil and then put on my nightshirt and then sprayed more on. So even though I basically double layered, the HRH from EAD. I'm not going to be worried about going out into the living room or the bedroom or whatever and like irritating my gentleman in there. Um, so really, really nice scent. I think it's going to be perfect for spring and summer. Um, I know things are getting harder and harder. I mean, here in Utah, we've had a major uh, thing of cows getting trick, I guess it's some sort of um, STD that is you know, between cows, um, you know, the whole entire bird flu thing with, you know, eggs being a little bit, well, a lot more expensive. I know things are getting rough, or, um, but, you know, it's okay to treat yourself once in a while, even if that's just going to the Dollar Tree to pick up something new. But I do think that the EAD 
Her Royal Highness. I think this is a really nice special fragrance. Smells good. I think it's good for all ages. And if you're one of those people that you don't like a super heavy duty, aggressive scent, if you're one of those people that you like that kind of middle of the road, a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, a little bit musky, I think you'd really, really like this. I do think it's worth the dollar twenty-five. I know it's an extra quarter, but I do think that this is worth an extra dollar or an extra quarter. Um, it's just a really nice scent. So um, if you're looking for a new perfume for spring and summer, this might be a good option for you. And yeah, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I, you know, yeah, I just hope you're doing well. So, you know, don't feel bad if you do want to treat yourself a little. You might just need to kind of uh, change up how you treat yourself. And I think this would make a great treat. So, um, yeah, I really, really like this if you're looking for an affordable birthday gift or anniversary gift or just because gift for somebody, I would definitely recommend taking out Dollar Tree's fragrances. They have some really, really good ones, so I would check it out. But yeah, the HRH by EAD, the um, Princess by Vera Wing dupe inspired by, really, really nice scent, and I think it's perfect for spring and summer. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy this week's Dollar Tree Gold. Um, short and sweet this week. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments, what fragrances have you picked up from Dollar Tree? What would you recommend to maybe people that are watching this and have never tried a fragrance from Dollar Tree? Let us know down below. And of course, you are more than welcome to follow me on my other social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.